Hey everyone, it's me, Carlo Libertini, and thanks for hanging out with me today. In this video, we're gonna do something really cool. I use this technique often when I'm songwriting or wanna do something completely different with some audio tracks that I have. Melodyne's really flexible this way. I'm talking about auto stretching. Now, auto stretching in Melodyne means that the audio you bring in to your session can be conformed, tempo mapped to the beat that it detects. And that's really powerful because not everything has to be a click if it's a little bit of a free feel. Well, there's many ways you can adjust your audio to sync with other tracks. And auto, auto stretching makes it really easy, creative, and fun. All right, what we're looking at here is a bunch of tracks. I got one, two, three, four. I got five tracks that I recorded in this session. Some bass, some guitar, some di different rhythmic values. And we're going to really elevate these tracks with some different kind of drum loops that we're going to auto stretch to these files. Okay. Now, there's one thing important to remember. I'm working in Melodyne's standalone version because the standalone implementation of this uh, will do this. But in a plugin format, it won't. It won't because of the tempo parameters that are within the DAW itself. They have to communicate. And if they don't, well, then they're not working together. So we're using Melodyne standalone for this. All right, so that's rule number one. Now, there's a couple of things to know about tempo. If you look in here, up in this top corner, you can see we have it set to 4-4. Four, four. I have a metronome that I can activate by toggling on and off and dragging the volume value there too. Because oftentimes you can follow along with the, the tempo, the metronome and Melodyne will actually tempo map itself to the beat that's detected. Again, really cool. And if you look at this, the squiggly line here remains that it's hovering somewhere around 110.17 BPM. It's not locked to a grid. There's a little bit of a free feel in these tracks, and I did that on purpose. Now, there's one thing to remember. If you do want to conform your tempo, change it somewhat. You could correct it, or you could totally change it. Here at this drop-down box, you've got an edit tempo mode and an assign mode. Now, in the edit tempo mode, you can actually introduce tempo changes and shape the tempo of your music. You can make like, like sudden changes or gradual changes. But with the sign tempo, it's kind of more corrective in a way where you can reshape the tempo map uh, correctively. So you've got edit and you've got assign tempo. Now, next to that, we have the auto stretch button. This button right here goes from gray to lightish gray. When this is on, any audio that you import now will temple map to the existing audio. So there is kind of a hierarchy with our steps required to really take advantage of this. And if it's not activated, the audio that you do import won't be time stretched and temple map. It'll just be imported to the file that it was originally recorded in. So it might really make a mess of things. But if you do do that, it'll happen once in a while. Just you know, a little undo, activate auto stretch, and then import your files again, and it'll work. So again, this is the button we're gonna be working with mostly right now, is the auto stretch button. So I'm going to leave it on. Now let's take a listen to our first track. I got a bass guitar track recorded here. I'm gonna actually turn my metronome on so you can hear it following along. And let's dive right in. <laughs> And I can deactivate my metronome and I can turn it back on. There. Now, let's talk about importing our audio because that's obviously important. There's gonna be a couple different ways. Number one, you could create a new track and record your audio into Melodyne. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because when you open up Melodyne, if you look up here, there are no there's no information regarding tempo because it doesn't have anything yet. So it's kind of a clean slate. So one way to get audio in is obviously to record it. You've got a record button right here. You can uh, assign your, your instruments in your audio interface, which you can go here under preferences and go up to your recording and audio and set your parameters there. And yes, you can record directly into Melodyne. And when you're done recording, 
you'll get a tempo value representing the musical beats that you played at. Now, it'll probably be a little free feel. So that's one way to do it is to record audio in. Another way would be to just come up to the good old fashioned file and import audio. You can also import tempo, see that? So you can actually select any one of these files here that we have and bring it in. Melodyne will analyze it for you and it'll tempo map it. And then it'll give you that information presented here in the proper section. So if record, you can import one of my favorite tips though, if you're working with a lot of files would be to open your file browser here and I can actually drag a folder, this one right here, right into my file browser section. And just like that, I now have a folder and it's representing some drum loops and the actual guitar wave files that we recorded. So a little bit of a housekeeping tip for you there. The reason why I like doing it this way is you can see that each one of these now has a play button. I can audition these tracks before I import them. For example, let's get started. Here's our bass groove. And you can see our first drum clip here, 808 Claps. I'm going to play that. Nice. And you can go down, so on and so on. So that's a real advantage when working with the file browser like I showed you here. Now let's talk about auto stretching. Now that these tracks were imported, let's say, you can just drag them from here and bring them onto your tracks. And with auto stretch activated, when I drag a drum loop onto our session, let's see right about there, you can see it's starting at beat one. It automatically conformed itself. It tempo mapped to the free feel performance of this bass guitar line. Let's dive right in. Let's take a listen now and see what we've got. Not bad, huh? I had the metronome on there. You can see how the metronome is also syncing with the tempo map that it's reading from that organic bass guitar performance. I'll shut that off for now. And it's as easy as that. And if you want to undo, audition a couple more, I'll undo just a couple of undos there. And let's try another one. We played this one earlier. This might be fun. Hopefully you're already getting a sense of the creative value that this can give you when you're songwriting. Because, you know, you want to create some kind of rhythmic element to your music or have some fun. Or you want to add something to it that's already existing, like a, like a new drum layer or something sonic. Well, tempo mapping is your key and auto stretching here in Melodyne makes it really easy. But again, it's creative and fun. So this uh, is called All Toms and let's take a listen to this blend. Actually, not bad. It's reading the tempo automatically here. Really amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, let me undo that and let's take that out there. So we just tried two very different drum loops, an 808 clap and an organic toms. Really interesting. And you can actually layer these. You don't have to use just one. Sky's really the limit. Let's try one more because I really like this bass line. Let's go down to something like, here we go. I like this poncho type. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna bring it right in. Beat one bar, bar two right there. Automatically conforms it and let's play it. Oh, that's really groovy. That's probably the one I would pick for this. Really nice. And did you notice also, speaking of good housekeeping here, how intelligent Melodyne is, as I drag that drum loop in here, it automatically named that track from drums one to punch type, which is the same file name here. Thank you, Melodyne. Thank you, Celemony.
Let's try a new one. Okay, let's solo this one. And let's take a listen to this bass guitar track. Now these aren't exactly to a click, they're a little free feeling on purpose. Let's bring the click in. All right, let's audition one. Here we go. Let's do this one. Let's bring it in. Beat one bar two. There it is. Let's add some drums to that. We saw that coming. I love a little cocktail lounge there for us. All right. Again, flexible, powerful, and creative. Let's try a different one. Let's go to... Let's take this one. Beat one bar one. And there it is. I like it. A little indie rock there. A little indie rock sounding. Let's try something different. Let's go to electric guitars now. And let's take a listen to our first electric guitar here. Some indie rock guitar, electric guitar picking. And this music is usually never really set to a solid grid, a little bit of free feel. You might track to, you know, click. But you got a lot of, a lot of freedom in there. Let's try something different again. Should we do, let's do the 808 tape again. Let's try something completely different and push this. All right, let's take a listen to this. And by the way, if you ever want to free yourself from the grid and move your drums around, I'm actually holding my Alt or Option key on a Mac, or you could actually deactivate the grid here in our grid settings, just toggle that off like so. See that? I'll keep it locked on for now. Another little tip for you. Wow, that strangely works. Let me know what you guys think. You know what, I actually like that. Maybe T Swift has a new hit on her hands with that one. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's solo the next one and have it keep having a little bit of fun. This is a different kind of performance. This is a swirl guitar. There we go. The reason why I picked this example is because there's a lot going on here energetically. If we bring it into our edit window, You'll see that, here we go, there's polyphonically, there's a lot going on there. And Melodyne will still, I mean, it's just a brilliant application, mine out the tempo map, even under, you know, a unique creative tone as this one. Let's bring in, let's see, let's audition some. Okay, we did that. We haven't tried this one. Let's bring this one in. All right, and I'm gonna line it up right there all right here we go something completely new oh i'm glad that happened this one opens up with a rhythmic kick drum beat i'm gonna take this and slide it to let's see b2 bar one and play it from there Now you don't have to keep those kick drum beats in there. If you wanted to now edit this loop, we can now bring it into our editor window and we could select these notes right here and press delete. And now they're gone. It's easy as that. So bringing the drums into Melodyne as we're doing here in this example does make them completely editable in a percussive way. Just make sure that under algorithm they are detected as percussive. All right, now let's try a little bit, uh, something new. We have one more here. Here we go. Let's take a listen to this session, this guitar. Very indie again, indie strumming. OK, 
Okay. Now, you know what? I'm going to bring that same one in, that roomy march, because I like what happened there. And let's do that same technique. I'm going to advance it here, and let's see if those kick drums work in this example with this strumming. It's kind of neat. That really does blend in there, though. And again, I can remove those kick drums as I showed you previously. There. Let's do that again from the beginning. It's amazing, literally, how easily Melodyne literally takes so much of the effort out for you by just preparing Melodyne in advance like we did, uh, bringing in files. As I told you, you could record into Melodyne, and then it'll give you the tempo information, tempo map for you. You can import under file. You can use the file browser to load a folder if you're going to be working with multiple tracks at once, like we're doing this example. But make sure, again, that the auto stretch is on. If it isn't on, check this out. I'll take it off and just bring in a file for demo. And you see if I bring it right here, beat one bar two, it did not auto stretch. It just brought it in as whole and it wouldn't, just wouldn't work. But with the auto stretch on, it happens rather quickly, but watch, see if you can do it. As I said, let go. There, there, stretch it out almost a measure and a half there for you. And it's as easy as that. So the best way obviously is to find out for yourself. This is the auto stretch feature here in Melodyne. Get busy, stay creative, and start using this in your audio productions today. It's easy, powerful, and I tell you, it'll really change everything. And when you're done, all you do is just come up to file, and you can always save your sessions, but you can also export your audio, and it'll give them to you as a brand new WAV file, ready to import into your DAW of choice at any time for further mixing and having fun. My name is Carlo Libertini. Stay busy, stay creative, and thanks for watching.